Today I'm going to be doing a quick outdoor unboxing of the ASUS M4A89 TD Pro. Now I already did unboxings of the GTD Pro as well as the GTD Pro USB 3. So this is without the G, which actually makes it better, contrary to what you might think. So this is using AMD's 890FX chipset. That means you've got full support for AMD's Phenom 2 X6 processors as well as any other Phenom or Athlon on the AM3 platform that you could possibly want to put in it. It has Turbo Unlocker, which means that you can adjust your performance on demand. Basically it means that you can unlock the turbo feature on the AMD 6 cores and you also have core unlocker which means you can unlock cores that are not there on the triple cores and the dual cores. So let me see what else we got. Oh yeah, uh, because it has an 890FX chipset you've got native support for SATA 6 gigabit per second. That means all of the ports are SATA 6 gig per second. You also have power eSATA support which is really cool if you have an external drive like the Seagate uh, GoFlex that I uh, that I unboxed recently that actually has a powered eSATA option. So that's pretty cool as well. We've got an IO shield. We have, wow, not many accessories for an 890FX board. We've got an IDE cable. Then we have the Q connector for USB as well as the front panel connectors, power switch, reset switch, all that good stuff. Then we have four SATA 3 connectors or SATA 6 gigabit per second connectors. There's no actual difference, but they have a little label on them that says SATA 6 gigabit per second. I don't know if you're going to be able to read that. And they look cooler because they're black and white versus the old uh, red ones that ASUS provides for SATA 2. Here is the support DVD. Do not use it. Throw it away. Download the latest off the ASUS website. And then we've also got the turbo unlocker description. So performance boost feature and it dynamically adjusts each CPU core for you. Okay, so yeah, basically like turbo mode. Okay, good. Manual, manual is in English and it is long. Let's have a look at the board itself. ASUS has done such a good job with the, with the, with the aesthetics of their most recent boards. I really, really like what they've done. They've gone from like kind of a, I mean, it wasn't that long ago ASUS was producing motherboards the color of cardboard, and now almost everything's got a nice black PCB. It's got a nice black and blue color scheme without, you know, any sort of random, like, you know, one orange port or anything like that. We used to see that a lot where there's just like, everything is sort of one color except, you know, this dim slot is yellow because yellow plastic was cheaper that day or whatever. It's really nice, really sharp. Up here we've got our 8-pin power connector. So this is, you know, I get a lot of questions about this. The fact that one side is covered means that if you only have a 4-pin power connector on your power supply, you plug it into these ones. If you have an 8-pin power connector, you take off this cover and plug it into the whole thing. So you can see there's 8 pins under there. So that is why that cover's on there, just so that you don't accidentally try and plug a 4-pin into this side. Okay, then we have our AM3 CPU socket. That's where you get support for all of the chips that I outlined before. You have support for dual-channel DDR3 memory, and it uses ASUS's innovative only one side installation system. So these are not actual clips. You just kind of slip the module in there, clip it down, and then clamp it on the other side. Here are the switches for Turbo Key 2 as well as their core unlocker. So this core unlocker switch, I think I did a video on it. Yeah, I did do a video on it with the G series board. It's as simple as you hit the switch and it unlocks the cores. It's really cool. Mem OK means that you can post with pretty much any memory as long as it fits in the slot. So Mem OK will run any module at a very, very safe setting so that you can get into the BIOS and adjust it to what it's supposed to run at. Here is the Southbridge, here is your IDE port, and here are your SATA 6 gigabit per second ports. All lined up down here. Now these aren't the ideal locations for your SATA ports. I'd prefer to see them at a right angle, like the IDE port here. But what they have done is they've really kept it out of the way of your graphics card. So even if you have a dual slot graphics card installed here, and a dual slot one installed here, it's only going to come up to about here. So as long as you don't have like a PCI RAID card or something this long, then you're not going to run into any trouble plugging in as many devices as you want. Here's your BIOS chip. Here's your front USB 2.0. This board does not, yes it does feature USB 3.0. And as term, in terms of expansion slots, you've got dual PCIe 16x support. You've got one PCIe 4x slot that will still be exposed even if you're running Crossfire. And then you have two PCI slots, one of which will be usable if you are running Crossfire with dual slots. Here's your north bridge. It's actually connected by a heat pipe to the MOSFET cooler. So I don't know if you can see that in there. And this uses what someone suggested to me is more like a tree than anything else. It uses their tree style of heatsink that I really like. It's just kind of 
cool looking. Let's look at that from a couple different angles. Cameraman always appreciates this kind of stuff where it's like, you know, more about aesthetics than actual performance and I'm starting to get that way myself to be perfectly honest. Let me see if there's anything else that I should really tell you about on this board while the cameraman... Oh yeah, hybrid technology. I think I remember what that is. I think it's something to do with power savings actually. Okay. Well, let's have a look at the back of the board. We've got two PS2 ports, a clear CMOS button. Thank you, ASUS. That is the best possible place for a clear CMOS button. Two USB 3.0 ports. You can tell because they're color-coded blue and they also have more pins inside. We have one optical audio out, six USB 2.0 ports, FireWire, a powered eSATA port, gigabit ethernet, as well as 7.1 channel audio. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the M4A89TD Pro 890FX motherboard from ASUS.